Yes, file management. What's up guys, Jason here, aspiring entrepreneur. And in this video, we are gonna be talking about the oh so fun topic of file management. So if you're just joining me in this series, I'm documenting the entire process I go through to essentially make sure that I stay hyper productive throughout the day and organized in everything that I do with growing my business. So in this particular video, we are gonna be talking about file management. So I have developed over the past couple of years a very, very simple approach to staying really organized with all of the content and files that I produce. And so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into my screen here and I'm going to walk you through one of the folders in my Google Drive for this particular project, you know, my, my YouTube uh, project or business, if you will, and kind of show you the basics of the different categories that I have and then how I organize all the content. Now, you may be wondering, Jason, why the heck would you do a video on this? Like I have my own system or nobody really needs a system or, you know, I just put everything in my My Documents folder and I can find it because I remember. Well, what's really critical and important uh, for us as entrepreneurs, even, you know, freelancers and consultants is scaling. And when you go to scale your business, when you bring somebody else on, that other person needs to understand what the heck is going on with your files. They need to be able to understand where files are. And this is particularly important when you start bringing on part-time freelancers because using something like Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, you know, whatever you're using, you know, SkyDrive, you want to be able to give them access to the only the files that they need and you want to make sure that the, all those files are in one place and so when they're done working for you you just go to that folder you say unclick share and then it's you know back to being protected so that's another big reason why this is so important but mostly just because it ensures that none of your files go missing and it forces you to keep things squeaky clean because a cluttered we all know that a cluttered desk represents a cluttered mind and a cluttered file files on your computer represents a cluttered and not very well running business system, right? Your business is a system. In the beginning, we are a business, we are the product, but we need to be creating a system that's going to allow us to scale into the future. So enough out of me, let's go ahead and dive into the screen and I'll go through really quickly the, the file structure and why I put things the way I do. Okay, so here we are in my Google Drive folder, and yes, we really are doing this. I'm excited to be sharing this with you guys. It's taken me so long to get this down, but here we go. So whatever you're working on, I think this file structure is going to be really helpful with whatever kind of business you have, particularly uh, digital, digital based businesses. So first up first, we have zero, which is admin. So this is all of your administrative stuff. So this is all the stuff that you don't really like, like contracts. Uh, receipts and financials. I can't click on it for obvious reasons that <laughs> I have to blur out the entire screen. And then we get into, you know, your actual businesses or big projects, depending on what you do. For me, it's businesses. So first I have Aspiring Entrepreneur, which is my personal brand. That's part of this, a large part of this YouTube channel, my website. Then I have Act Marketing, which is my digital marketing agency. And then I have a media asset library. So this is something that I've found was really helpful to me is I make sure if it's not a word, if essentially if it's not a document, if it's any sort of media, so if it's a picture or a video, maybe it's a WordPress plugin, it goes in here. And this has been so, so instrumental in making sure that everyone on my team knows exactly where things are stored. Otherwise, I found that, you know, when I create a new product or I'm working on a new landing page, I put the files in there and then I ask somebody else to do something and then people are like going through different folders like where was that picture so if you put all of your media in one place it makes it super super easy for yourself and other people to go find what you are looking for of course there are slight exceptions you know when you're creating content specifically for a particular platform but I'll get to that in a minute and then of course we have public folders so this is any public folders that have to do like some of the we use Google Drive to host some of our content and we use Google Drive to work with some of our clients as well so anything that is shared externally outside the team goes in here that way we never have to worry about someone getting access to something that they shouldn't resources library that's just where I keep all of the course courses that I pick up or you know books that I or PDFs that I save over time. And then old projects, this is really key guys. If it's not active or if it's something old and you're like, I don't really use this anymore, just put it in old projects and forget about it. That's it. So that way you don't spend hours on end trying to like clean everything up. 
or going through everything, if you're like, I haven't touched this in three months, just throw it in all the projects and keep moving on. So we're gonna go into aspiring entrepreneur here and I'm gonna show you this system. So this applies to you know your business or a project that you're working on. And essentially you almost always have four main files. You have your team files, you have your sales funnel, so this is all of your marketing stuff. Then you have your content, and then you have your products, right? So team files will go in there is essentially everything that's needed, and you see how I broke it down, sales funnel, content, products again. Uh, essentially everything that's needed to communicate and share between your team. So this is all of the administrative management style stuff. So for example, I'm gonna go into content, and then I'm gonna go over to Instagram, and you'll see here that there are a couple of videos and Excel files that have to do with our managing our Instagram account. And so what's really cool is whenever I record a tutorial for my team or we have a, any sort of documentation on how something should be done, we all, we all know to go to this folder, Team Files, Content, Instagram, anything that has to do with Instagram. Now, the actual content that goes on Instagram, well, that will go someplace else, and I'll get to that in a moment here. But you can see how any any sort of process or documentation should be in your team file. So when someone's onboarding or we have a new person and they're helping with a YouTube channel, well, check it out. Here are all of the tutorial videos on how to manage the YouTube channel, and here are all of the templates and Excel files on managing the YouTube channel. So that's a quick overview of team files. I'm gonna go as fast as possible. Here we go, and then sales funnels. So sales funnels, this is all of your marketing and sales materials for your products and services. So here we have Authority Builder. This is a course that's gonna be coming out in the next few months. And so anything that has to do with the sales funnel, so um, sales, sales copy, the webinar script, the webinar videos, the pre-webinar videos, the post-webinar videos, everything that has to do with actually getting someone to whip out their card and purchase the product is in here. All the email templates are in there. And so that's where everything's stored. So whoever is working on the sales side of it, even we have, see, there's a folder for Facebook advertising. Forgot about that. So all of the stuff that goes into getting someone to purchase goes in here and that keeps you really focused and organized in terms of if you hire a sales copywriter or you ha hire an advertiser you're going to bring them on and they're going to know that all the stuff they need is in this folder and so let's go back then we have content so content is where i spend a majority of my time and essentially we have blog instagram and youtube so i'm going to go ahead and click on instagram here but essentially all of the content that is published on the blog instagram or youtube goes here. Now, I also, a quick tip for you guys who are running out of disk space, you see I'm at 207 gigabytes here, is I actually created a con an archive section. So when after, you know, three or six months, I don't need all the YouTube videos and all the Instagram images sitting on my local hard drive. So what I do is I do a selective sync so that I do not sync the archive folder. So I get to back up and save everything, it's just not cluttering my hard drive. So quick tip there. And then of course you can go into Instagram and you'll see here are all of, you'll see we have a folder for each month of posts, we have our content library and then we have the archive and eventually this archive goes you know, in to the other archive I just showed you. So I'm really hoping this is helping you guys. I just, I, you hear the excitement in my voice because I'm just so pumped up with, um, organization here and then finally we have products so products you see in in this particular thing I only have one product here which is the you know the authority builder course that's gonna be coming out soon and then the aspired notebook which you guys can get from jasonwhaling.com and it's just all of my you know best notes and extras that I can't or can't fit into all of my YouTube videos and that's it so I hope you found that helpful that is all there is to it to having a super hyper organized system and again this might seem like overkill, but it's really, really important, especially if you plan on scaling and growing. It's really essential that you set this thing up so that you can have other people come in and be organized, hyper productive. So thank you for watching. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and then comment below if you feel like your files are organized or not. You know, I'm one of those weird type A personalities that really, really likes this stuff, which is why I was so excited to finally have the opportunity and time to share this video with you because as simple as it may sound, you know, there is, I'd say, genius in simplicity, right? 
And so I'm not calling myself a genius, by the way. I'm calling whoever came up with that uh, a genius is looking for the simplest way to accomplish something. And I think this is definitely one of those things when you're structuring your business and your files, no matter what kind of business you are. I mean, yes, you can modify these things. You saw in there, I have multiple projects and you know I have one place where I put all my media. That's another great tip. And so it's just really important to think about how you're gonna scale in the future and keeping everything organized both on your desk and in your hard drive and of course in the cloud. So again, if you got some value out of this, make sure you subscribe because over on the channel, I'm doing productivity videos like this one and a bunch of marketing and business building videos as well. So thank you so much for watching. And of course, until the next video, keep building the business you love. Take care.